After a tiring day of studying or working at our day job, all of us love to spend our personal time chilling and consuming our favourite content, whether it be dramas, animes, sitcoms, or just scrolling through social media. A part of us knows that spending our limited free time like this isn't the most productive use of our time, especially if we have goals that we have set ourselves up to achieve. Despite that, we can't help but continue to consume content mindlessly and regret after the damage has been done. However, what if I tell you that consuming content is actually good for you and there's no need for you to feel guilty? Before I get to why I feel that consuming content can be good for you, I'll talk about why consuming content such as scrolling through social media or watching your favourite TV shows are bad for you. The basics are well known to all of us. Excessiveness. No no matter what activity you are participating, if you are overdoing it, it will only bring you harm. As much as I love to exercise and know that it's good for me, I know that exercising intensely for 2 hours every single day without a break will do me more harm than good. Watching your favourite show over a meal is fine. However, spending your entire day on your bed, watching episodes after episodes, not only deteriorates your health, but also consumes your youth, which is this short period of time that you will only experience once in your life that enables you to do things that you will not be able to do once you get much older. These are the golden years, and in this day and age where instant gratification activities are abundant. In this case, an abundance of content, it's easy to get swept up by all of it and have your youth wasted away. Your youth is a period of time where you have an abundance of energy to experience many things, learn new things and take risks. Spending your golden years sitting at your desk watching shows or lying on your bed scrolling TikTok is another way of telling your future self that you don't care if your future's trajectory will be plummeting downwards. However, let's also be realistic. It's impossible to keep up with a Spartan mentality and just keep charging forward and be productive all the time. Happiness is not all about achieving our goals and dreams, but can also be found in the small and simple things, such as chilling at your desk watching your favourite anime. In fact, I encourage you to find a show that you like and watch them moderately for enjoyment. I myself have learned many things from consuming content, whether it be through watching podcasts, documentaries and even animes, which in one way or the other got me to who I am today. I wouldn't be who I am today if not for the content I consume. With that said, how can you use this period of time that you're consuming content much more productive? Be aware of what you're consuming. What do I mean by that? More often times, we thought that we are aware of what content we are consuming, but in reality, we don't. We simply stare at the screen mindlessly and go brain dead. Have you ever watched an endless amount of episodes of your favourite TV show in a row? And if you were to try and think back on what you've just watched, you could barely remember anything. More often times, we are just like that when we are consuming content. We shut off our brains and just stare at the screen for entertainment. And the next thing you know, hours had went by, you learn nothing, and you are more tired than before. The idea of being aware of what you are watching is to try and get some sort of takeaway from it, or be intentional on what you want to learn from what you are consuming. For example, I love to watch anime. I am also learning the Japanese language. In order to make my downtimes much more productive, I watch intentionally, listening to the Japanese narration and trying to understand what it means without looking at the subtitles. Every time a Japanese writing appears on the screen, I try to read it and guess its meaning. It's a very simple mindset shift that enables me to make my rest time productive. There are many types of content, but it can be split into two main categories, long form and short form content. I've never been a fan of short form content as these types of content are just too short for any information to truly sink into your brain. Which is why the very act of scrolling through social media, even if you are being intentional, and aware of what you're consuming is often considered a waste of time. In order for you to truly absorb any information, you have to invest time. Many books can be summarized into a couple of paragraphs or even have all of its main takeaway listed in a single page. You could pretty much use ChatGPT to do that for you and you're on your way to read 100 books a day. However, this information will not resonate with you deeply enough because you did not spend enough time in it. Reading a 500 page book on how to build good habits will result in its information sinking deep inside your brain as you're able to relate each tip to a story that the author has talked about as compared to coming across that same tip on a short TikTok video. Watching this YouTube video on why I think consuming content is good for you will spark some sort of critical thinking on your own viewpoints and also absorb its takeaway better as compared to watching a 10 second short form video of me telling you how to consume content productively, which you'll forget as soon as you continue scrolling. If you're watching an hour long YouTube video on how to become more productive, you'll learn and absorb its information way more than spending an hour scrolling through social media, which I'm pretty sure you wouldn't remember 90% of it. Consuming content is not entirely bad as long as you're intentional with it. It's like a knife. It's entirely up to you on how you want to use it. You can either use it to cut ingredients for cooking or you could use it to harm others. Do you blame the creator of the knife when someone uses it to harm others or will you blame the user for using it for what it's not meant for? The next time you're thinking about watching a new show, watch a foreign language show and try to understand the language. If you are thinking of consuming social media content, watch podcasts or self-improvement content like my channel instead of scrolling mindlessly through social media of random girls dancing. Being productive is not about sacrificing what you enjoy. You can still enjoy the things that you have been doing, just be more intentional about it. If if you're intentional about reaching your goals.